All right, guys. So I gotta, I have to uh, do all this for the VTEC conversion. I have to desolder J4, R90, R71. If you can see it, 1980 board. This is it right here. I'm working on this on this uh, VTEC. I believe it's. Uh, a Q IC fourteen. Let's see, IC fourteen. I believe it's this location right there. It's for by VTech. This little guy right here, VTech. And the rest is pretty much a little transistors here and there. I got the solder. J4 R90 so uh, J4 is uh, somewhere up here the whole schematic um, so I'm gonna start desoldering J4 R90 and C71 as outlined on here I hope you can see it my camera's not picking it up J4 C71 it's a capacitor and an R90 I want to see the R90 I'll find it Let's see this is you got this out of this out of these things J4 and all that so I'll check back okay bye how are you guys doing so I got this thing socketed. Check it out. Here goes the, the custom chip here. I added this chip. VTEC. Data logging right here. For, I think for on data. Yeah, I got the kit from eBay, so there it is, guys. Went for the uh, B20 VTEC chip. It goes here, and the type or the Type R or the two chips from eBay. So that's all that's keeping me from running the engine. And I got, there it is, guys. So I got my delivery. I'll show you guys what I got. ARP head studs. I can use the GSR head bolts, but I chose to get this. I got uh. These are the main seals from the front, crank seal and the, and the rear main seal. It's all from eBay. And I got the transmission output seals. And it turns out I got an airbag from eBay, 50 bucks, it's a steel. So I gotta uh, take off these screws, I mean the bolts, the nuts, and just uh, have it bolted on. To the cover it's interchangeable for the right hand drive so so yeah guys also got a bunch of eg things for sale from the left hand drive i posted it on opera so i guess let's see how it looks <clears throat> all right guys so looking at the airbag this is the right hand drive left hand drive Actually, put it like this. Number eight, easily removed. Right here, it looks like the holes match up. So let's see what happens. So yeah, guys, it works. I took out the old top, just the mirror image, and it works. So let's install it. All right, guys, guys, I got the VTEC wired in. There's the VTEC location. All right, guys, so I'm doing the splicing and adding of the harness. So I got 
two harnesses to make one super harness for right hand drive and it looks like I have to extend this about 27 inches from here to there. So this grouping, I, I, I have the zip ties for the grouping right there and right there. This is for, since the, the, everything got swapped, what used to be this plug, this plug used to be on the drivers, now it's at the passengers. This got, went this way and this plug went the other way around vice versa so this one has a, all these wires didn't get cut but I'm labeling it each one of them like distributors that has to be extended uh, like in back of this like the water control the idle control and the map and purge that didn't didn't get cut because that's in the harness of this way I think so most of all these groupings didn't get cut it just got elongated but that's okay I'm not gonna make them shorter I'm just gonna tuck them and it's gonna be as long as it reaches I'm good I, I could tuck a little bit and here's the injector grounds so that had to get cut it has to be extended 12 inches so I'm grabbing this other harness I had from the LS B20 non VTEC. it turns out that this harness could fit on the my old Civic EX harness so I'm combining these two this is from 94 LS this is 94 Civic so I'm making these two the same um, I'm making this a super harness for the right hand drive so I'm using I'm cannibalizing this to, to for this harness so they all share the same plugs from the Integra this Integra, Integra 94 and, and Civic 94 have the same plug style OBD1 so I could from these two harnesses I'll make the super harness for the right hand drive so I'm gonna begin soldering and I'll let you know how it goes and I'm referring online for little things as far as wiring but I discovered that <laughs> I was very stumped on one connector in particular, which was the power steering. Because I'm planning to keep my power steering. This power steering, remember, this is, this is right hand drive. So that plug used to be. Uh, that Actually, that plug, that plug stays there. Because a left hand drive had it there too. Because remember, the rack and pinion is there and the plug remains in the same place. But nevertheless, when I flipped the harness, because I kept the harness, the Civic, I just flipped it. So everything used to be here, now it's over there. Now, this power steering plug <laughs> used to be there, is on this side. So now I have to cut and extend it to reach that power steering. So everything else should go. Oh, also, I have a power steering. I mean, uh, AC. I'm having the AC wires, which are these guys, the relays for the condenser. I decided, I decided, keep, I'm gonna do uh, an AC right hand conversion as well. So I'm ordering the parts. It's coming in Saturday. I'm gonna have the AC lines running on this side. What what versus it was on that side. So I'm having everything. I'm running AC because yeah. Uh, before I go turbo, I want to do the AC for one year. So hopefully uh, I could do the turbo and AC combination. Um, hopefully. So as far as the interior, everything's set and done. I put the airbag. I you can see the airbag right there. Airbags in. I just flipped the tops from US to JDM. Fits the bracket from the US. I had to drill a little bit uh, bigger holes. 
and there it is also I had to get a GSR this bracket um, upper and lower bracket from the GSR 97 spec and that's gonna I'm gonna get the power I'm gonna keep the power steering for my right hand drive so there it is <laughs>